So in the last video, we have seen how to use, how to uh, create a singleton design pattern even if you are working with multiple threads. So we have discussed we can use something called as synchronized here to create that inst to get only one instance. There is one more way. If you have two threads, what we can do is we can add a delay between two threads. So how to add delay? We can say thread dot sleep. We'll make it sleep for 10 milliseconds. And we'll say try catch just to handle the exception. Let's say exception E. Okay. And now even if even if you are we are not using the synchronized block here, so if I run this, you can say we are getting only one instance. It's because when you say t1 dot start, it will call get instance where you will get the object. And then after 10 milliseconds, it will call, it will create this object, which is start, which it will call this start, which will again call the get instance. But this time your object is initialized. So it will not uh, create the new object. Okay, that's one way. But waiting for 10 milliseconds is waste of time, right? So what we can do is we can use a concept here called as double checked locking. Now how to use double check locking is double check means we'll check the object as null two times. One simply and second one inside the synchronized block. So what it will do is it will just say synchronized. It will be synchronized with the class. So let's say it is abc.class and what we can do is so once we are checking, just hold on, I'm going to take it down. Okay. So once we are checking here, and then after synchronized, also we'll we'll have one more check. So we'll say if obj equal to equal to null. So this is one of this is one more way of checking it. Uh, so what we are doing here is, if this is the first time execution, so it will it will give it true. And then it will apply synchronized, and then it will again check, and then it will create the object. So for the second time, it will it will come into sync. It will come into synchronized, and it will say, okay, no. So uh, this the block is synchronized, so it will not create the new object. Okay. So instead of applying a synchronized here, which will consume lots of resources, we are just applying synchronized while creating the object. Okay. So instead of wasting your 100 milliseconds, we can waste only Maybe five to six milliseconds, or in that format, if you have, uh, basically it will, it will go for five to six x of the time. Okay, so this type of uh, object singleton pattern is called as double check locking singleton pattern. And now, if I run this, we can see we are getting output as instance created. So every time if I run this, it will say only instance created. Clear? So. So we have seen multiple ways of achieving singleton pattern. The first way was the no, just normal eager, oh sorry, it was yeah, it was eager type. Then we have second, we have lazy type. Then we have seen how to achieve using synchronized block when you have multiple threads. Then we have seen what is double checked locking. Now, is it the only way to create it? Now we have one more way. So from Java 1.5, we have one more way of creating a singleton pattern. That pattern is thread safe. It consumes less amount of resources and it has multiple features when you talk about thread safety. Okay. And that pattern is something called as using enum. So how to create a singleton pattern using enum? That we'll see in the next part of the tutorial. So if you have logged, if you like if you have liked my video, so do uh, click on thumbs up and do comment. And thanks for watching.